By the looks of things, it should be quite a quarterback matchup between a pair of guys playing at an elite level. On Sunday, they became the first QB's drafted nose. One and two in the same year to each throw four TD passes on the same day. What's more, neither was intercepted. And each led his team to precisely 51 points. Goff's Los Angeles Rams beat the New York Giants 51-17 and Wentz's Philadelphia Eagles defeated the Denver Broncos 51-23. The number one thing you can judge a quarterback on is wins and losses, Goff said, and right now we're 6-2, so I feel good. Whether or not that truly is the best statistical measure of the position, he and Wentz, they share an agent, and our pals who trade texts have their clubs at the top of the NFC. While the Rams lead the West Division, the Eagles not only are atop the East, they are pacing the entire league at 8-1 heading into their bye week. We feel like we have some momentum, said Wentz, who leads the NFL with 23 TD passes, and is probably the front runner for MVP. He likes to talk about being able to spread the love in his offense to various receivers and runners, and that's what Philadelphia did against Von Miller, and a top-ranked Denver defense that was made to look downright ordinary. On one noteworthy play, Wentz ran a zone red option, kept the ball instead of handing it off, then saw that cornerback Akib Taleb was fooled, so tossed a short pass to Alshon Jeffery that turned into a 32-yard TD. As Eagles coach Doug Peterson said about his quarterback, he improves every single week. Two highlights stood out for Goff, leading by only three points and facing third and 33 in the second quarter, he threw a receiver screen to Robert Woods that turned into a 52-yard score. Less than two one-half minutes later, there was a 67-yard TD pass to Sammy Watkins. Jared was the one running the show today, Rams rookie coach Sean McVay said, and he showed great command and great poise in a road atmosphere. Given what we've seen this season, the Week 14 matchup between Goff and Wentz and Law could be just the start of a long rivalry. In case you missed it, here are the other top topics after the NFL season's ninth Sunday, call keeper Nick. At the other end of the NFL's QB spectrum are teams such as the Houston Texans, whose season is going down the drain, if they need to stick with Tom Savage as the starter in place of injured rookie Deshaun Watson. Savage completed only 43% of his passes in a 2014 loss to the downtrodden Indianapolis Colts, didn't appear to be game ready on a final regular goal to go series, and fumbled the ball on his last play. The Texans are just one of a handful of clubs that should, but most likely won't, try to sign Colin Kaepernick, who has started a Super Bowl, but is currently unemployed. Kaepernick has filed a grievance against the NFL, saying owners colluded to keep him out of the league because he initiated the practice of kneeling during the pregame national anthem to protest racial inequality and police brutality. The Broncos, similarly, are going nowhere with Brock Osweiler or Trevor Simeon. And the Giants might even want to think about moving on from Eli Manning.